Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Nose Dash Customs. Today, it's a little bit of a DIY. Uh, we have this um, Whirlpool portable dishwasher that we would like to mount back in this area. And as you can see, we do have a washer dryer hookup right here. Um, though that's not how this portable washer is supposed to work. So let me show you how we're gonna fix this problem and maybe we can help fix yours. Alrighty, so let's get started. As you can see, our portable dishwasher comes with the typical faucet hookup. Uh, we are not going to be using that as we are going to use this washer dryer hookup in this corner. Um, I'm going to show you how we can fix this with a few simple steps. It's actually even easier than hooking it up permanently to your under the counter. So let me show you what we need. Alrighty, so I have all of the things that we are going to need to hook this portable dishwasher up to the washer dryer line in a semi-permanent basis. Okay, so we have a extension for the drain hose. We have a feed line and we have an extra connector. And then we have the tools we're going to need. So you're just gonna need for this particular washer, which is a Whirlpool, all I needed was a Phillips, a do quarter uh, quarter inch socket and a T15 torque spit. So on this washing machine, you have several bolts that hold on the the casing. Um, you have one, two, three. four five, six, seven, eight. So they're the same on both sides and on the back. You also need to remove two screws here. And hidden underneath of the front of this lip to remove the top, uh, there will be one, two, three screws there. Once you remove the top, I will show you where the last two hidden screws are. Now, we're going to slide the countertop forward after we've taken the three screws out and release the top countertop as it is held in by these two bolts in the back sliding into a groove. This will then reveal two screws uh, holding the front half of the cabinet on. We can then remove the three screws on this side of the cabinet. The one in the bottom corner is a quarter inch. Then just repeat the process for the other side. On the back side of the unit, you will have two more up here. We can then pop out this panel. And the final tool will be down at the bottom. And finally removing the casing. Now, before removing the casing completely, two things you need to do. One, you need to pop this window through here. Just lay this up out of the way. Second, you need to release this over here in the corner. Just need to lift up and release it. You can then 
remove the casing completely out of the way. Alrighty, with the casing out of the way, we can now lay the machine down on its face. It's best to place something in front of the machine to not mess up the front. Um, after we lay down the machine, we can get to work on the bottom side to finish this conversion. Now with the machine on its face, we can now see the two connections we need to remove. The first one is the drain here with the um, crimp clamp and the main feed line with the standard hose fitting. Now, to replace the feed line, I chose to go with this uh, braided stainless steel line and two of these washer uh, hose fittings. Uh, let's install these both onto the hose, and then we'll install the hose onto the dishwasher. Now, with both ends installed, we can install it onto the dishwasher. The drain line is just a universal dishwasher drain line. Uh, we're going to reuse the clamp on this end, and I'll show you how we're going to put this into the other end. Okay, now that all the lines are up through the little guard here, we can put the casing back on the washing machine. And that is just a reversal of the steps that we did to take it off. Alrighty, and if all goes well, you have your machine back together, your lines come up out of the back, and depending on where your, your hookups are, mine are on the side for the way that I want this machine to sit, um, you're gonna hook your line up to the hot water, or if you have a V into one, you can hook it into both. You only need the hot water. Um, and you're going to hook the drain into the washer drain, just like you would if it was a washing machine. Um, well, it is a washing machine, just for dishes, not clothes. Um, and you are going to make sure that your three-prong grounded outlet goes into a grounded outlet plug. I have made sure that that outlet is actually grounded. And um, the next thing to do is to fill her up and test a load of dishes.